Hello and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2 and we are back here in this ice gate thing in front of the dragon and we will need to talk to her again. I checked uh, the forums and um, because there was this weird situation that we agreed on just moving past and then she's attacking us and yeah this seems to be an issue not sure if that's intended or not but other players reported that as well and um, some d said yeah it's easier to just kill it and someone um, said that they try to just get past that and we will just do that but I mean if she stays hostile and we need to kill her anyways it's also kind of stupid yeah we will just I mean first we will have the dialogue here then another question Mm. The terms are acceptable. Okay. Now we need to make everything count. So, first take the buff. And we go to this corner here. We wait until the enemy had its turn. Now. And now hostile we go further two steps then teleportation this character and then we will just teleport there and of course we are right in the middle of them but we don't really have a choice there all right and whoop. and four and whoop four and whoop. All right. Mm, now yeah, it's okay though. All right. So, um. Of course, we got lots of enemies here. But we need to get further forward. So. Let's try this. Yeah. Bleed on everyone. And we will just try to stun someone. Mm hmm. I mean, they are not super strong, but. Ah, ensnared. Okay. Um, we need that one. And we should try to take... Yes. also need to kill the construct now mm, this is painful yeah I should have used the the other thing for also ah, okay we still can but now it would be wasted so we just take over the next one. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. We can use this. Now we are only hitting three now. Ah, no. It's not ideal, so let's do this instead. And snared. I will just port her. Mm hmm. Port. Yeah, 
that's annoying. I'm not sure what would happen now if we went to the south and to the treasure. Essentially, we are just deciding not to kill her, but we are still in the fight, so I'm, I'm not sure if that actually means anything. Like, if we move, if we get back to this cave later on, we're she be friendly again or will we just jump back into the fight which would be kind of stupid ah nice mm -hmm. okay this is blocked off to get away. Okay, we should probably just continue our way here. bleed but it will do damage. Nice. Okay, so this is also closed over there, so we need to go to the south. Action points. You can't climb still so when in combat. Okay, close combat. And now we are out. Alright, saving. Now I will check what happens if we just go back. Yeah, we will just get into battle.
And she's still where she was before. So I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe we will get another path. Ah, no, we are still in the under in the underground here. Yeah. Or maybe we just travel on. Ah, we can sleep here. Okay, but we don't need to. Iron Peaks. Yeah, and now we can probably just quick travel anyways. You have discovered Infernal Passage Entrance. Mm -hmm. um, achievement unlocked the Ascent. When you emerge from the valley, you immediately start to shiver. You stand atop an enormous glacier and the wind instantly cuts through your bones. There are no signs of settlement up here. Not even the rogue can eke out a living in this cold, thin air. Yet somehow, this is where they decide to make all of their most momentous decisions. To the east you can make out an elevated roadway. The ancient stones barely poke out over the sh snow. It is the highest expanse in the pilgrimage road. It heads north and south. Uh, there's Prova Krug. But I mean, I, we also want to explore the rest, right? So who's who's that, first of all? Uh, I don't want to waste much more time if I can avoid that. There's a band of rogue warriors traveling on this road. Even though they are bunted, bundled up, they are still shivering. You think that they are from the gentle coast. They seem to be kind of lost in the fog and mist. They don't notice you until you are close. Then they draw their weapons. Approach them. When they see who you are, they lower their blades. Their leader says, You are the Prince of Haven. We heard you might come. We travel to prove a crook. We want to take part in this in the decisions. Now we will also see the challenge. Tell me more about Prover Crook. He shakes his head. We can't talk about it with outsiders. Follow the road to the south and you will ascend to the peak. That is all we can say. You go to see the challenge against me? Yes, we did not want to war against Haven. Now that some dare to challenge you, we can't afford to stay out of the discussion. You take part in the rebellion against us. You must die. You should go. Yes, we wish you good fortune. Haven has been very good for the gentle coast. Remember, we don't want war. Shivering, they move off to the south. They'll have to struggle to find shelter before they freeze. Mm -hmm. And then there's a cave. And there's blobs, so day 86. We still have a bit of time. Uh, yeah, if we don't have to fight, then we won't fight. The thin cold air of the Aaron Peaks is starting to wear you down. Not even the native rogue can last up here in this harsh glacier forever. You quietly curse Prince Sutter for sticking you with this job. Your energy is slowly draining away. You desperately hope to find warmth and shelter from the elements soon. Mm -hmm. Is the blob following me? A band of warriors were camped outside the ice gate. They had been drinking to keep warm. That is how you were able to get close to them. However, when they see you, these drunks are only able to think about how much fame and glory they would win if they captured you. And that explains why they chart the suicidal course of attacking you. Okay. Avenger, 200 hit points. Okay. And that should be all we need. We can actually get some mana out of this fight. Mm. 
Oop. Blessing. So he's going to die and we need one more. So the next one who is getting down to us will just be taken over. Probably not that one. Man, it resists 60%. That's a skeleton. It's also just 50%. 117 hit points. Dramat resist 50%. Okay, we'll just stay back and um, attack. And they should probably just die. Without much issues. Ooh, many issues. Uh, Alright. Ouch. Oh, that's not nice. But we need to heal one time anyways, so that's fine. Easy peasy. You search the camp for the of the drunken rabbits, and there are a few coins and some partial flasks uh, of inedible fermented raw beverage. You also find one of the vicious scourges used by the most esteemed of the High Lethal warriors. Should make a nice trophy when you get home. You take it. Nice. Mm, okay, so there is a nest or something. This nest, made of piles of skinny twigs and shattered snake skins, seems abandoned. You search it and find a few gemstones and a large crystal. When you turn and head back, however, you find that the nest was not abandoned. Its owners were out hunting. Now they find that prey has conveniently come to them. Okay, that's a bit more complicated. Silence. Mm -hmm. We will try to be as efficient as possible, though. And I think they will take over each other. So if we are lucky, this Ice Serpent will take over another Ice Serpent and then there's kind of a chain reaction. We will see about that. Ah, okay, this is not going to take anything over soon. Alright, so let's head back and attack that one. Mm. First down.
No, I will need to tank over another one. Like that one. Okay, it didn't work. Used up some mana though. Mm -hmm. Silence, okay. not take any one oh, uh, weakness as long as they don't poison or anything nothing is happening so let's try and get that one now Ah, and there's the poison. Mm. But she got plenty of mana anyways, so she can heal. And I think we are still net positive. We will need to fight the slime now. Ice pudding! We still have the buff. Speed buff. Well, not all have speed, but... Mm -hmm. The ice pudding is extremely slow, minus 30%, so we should just be able to kill them from a distance. Another slow. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. Let's see if they have anything. Nope. Okay, then. Oh, to the north you can see the ice gate, the huge stone fortification blocking casual travelers from entering the Aram Peaks. Not surprisingly, it is crawling with rebels. When they see you, they run behind the gates and prepare for an assault. Those warriors, foolish enough to challenge Aven, are camped here behind high walls, preparing to flow down from the mountains. There are hardly enough of them to fight your empire, but they are too numerous for you to challenge them correctly. If you approach the fortress, you may be able to parlay. You have no chance of defeating an entire army, even a small one, by yourself. Mm, I disagree. Upper ice gate. Hello. Ah, cultist Vanna. Cultist Oiros. Uh -huh. And what's here in the south? Okay. 
but we can't go there. We can kill these in the north, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's prepare a bit. Or Sage with 200 hit points. Mantle 60. Um, okay. Nice. Another one? Perfect. Okay. Now, we can't go there, but they also can't go to us, so... We should probably... Just go past them. Lots of hit points. Didn't do anything. There's also some treasure. Let's get that treasure. Oh. to go I didn't want to do that. I'm surprised that they are still charmed. Charm is still holding. Ah, uh, and there's. Uh, there's new support.
I just want to get the treasure. Get seven coins. Mm, you don't have enough action points. Diamonds. Charm of the Lisa. A row and doors and ten men resist. Hmm. Now, of course, he can't take it. Let's take that. And now we need to fight our way out again. Thanks. Job well done. To be expected, the major mages need to die first. Yeah. It's also a mage, and we need to heal again. Okay. Here. Goodbye. Okay, so nothing more for us to do there. Um, let's explore the south then. some dragons drakes this is just a random combat apparently so we don't need to do that checking if there's anything with the house there isn't so let's just not waste any time with that one there needs to be this library somewhere around here or land and there's some cave an empty house. Oh, 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 oh. No, nothing. Oh, you find a ruin, the remnants of a small settlement. Once very long ago, someone tried to found a town up here. All that remains now are a few shattered stone walls many centuries old. Occasionally a pilgrim the Prova Krug has used these walls for shelter. Otherwise, nobody has actually lived here for mostly, most likely recorded history. And there's a ghost. Nameless library. Are these enemies? Or is this just... A spectre floats into the view out of the snow. It is the ghost of an ancient warrior. It wears spectral armor of an archaic style. And it holds a, a massive ghostly blade in two hands. When it sees you, it turns and runs. With astonishing speed, it sails over the ice to the southeast. Mm-hmm.
A spectre floats into view out of the snow. It is the ghost of an ancient warrior. Blah, 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 and this is still over to the southeast. Okay. New day dawns. And this is the library. Nameless library. This hall is ancient, like most of the ruins here. It is also surprisingly intact. There are cracks in the floor. A few tiles have fallen out of the ceiling, yet it is still almost entirely intact. It is very cold. Ominous statues stare at you as you pass. You see no signs, messages, runes or other indications of what this place was built for. There are a few pairs of human tracks on the tr frost under your feet. Someone visited recently. Ah, a puzzle. Uh, I failed. What am I supposed to do here? I, uh, I don't think that I made any notes here, Jonah. Ah, Nils, wasn't that this guy? Nils, he check. Yeah, okay. Um, Nils, sorry for running. Too good an opportunity. You want to get there first. Undiscovered uh, Lost Library and the RMP is cold, but easy to sneak through. Found the location in the code. Top left, down three. Top left, down three. Ah, okay. Um, top left, down three, down, down, right, 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 right. What the hell? Okay, let me quickly find some paper and uh, 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 and something to write. Alright. That will do. Alright. Top left. Then we had um like three down, right? Either there, okay, two. One, two. Okay. Then it was down, down. Mm, down three, down, down. And four times right. Down, down. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So, down, down. And okay, mm -hmm. down, 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 right, 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 up, up, okay. Okay. All right. Let's continue. This complex has a large impressive entry hall. Again, it is mostly intact except for some scattered broken tiles and a few piles of trash left by looters. There are two things of note here. In the northwest corner you see a small campsite. There is a tent and a cold fire pit. Refuse and crumbling books are scattered on the floor around it. The camp hasn't been here for long. It uh, looks like it was abandoned a few days ago. The second thing is quite a bit more interesting. There is a magic circle in the northeast corner. A huge magical construct stands in it. It is a familiar design, like a huge brute. However, it is very, very old. 
Its skin has a grey tint, like stone. It is amazing that it is still standing upright. It gives no response to your ent entry. It stands perfectly still, hunched over and staring straight ahead. Mm, the stone sentinel. You examine the construct, poke it, wrap it with your knuckles a few times. It seems like solid stone, yet its joints are covered with fine traceries of cracks. You aren't sure if it can move now, but it could definitely move once. It may be the most imposing magical construct you have ever seen. Very large and very solid. A ferocious opponent in battle if it could ever move fast enough to fight. Mm hmm. Some book. You think you know what this hall is now. There is a wooden case to the left full of scrolls the old has left them remarkably intact so they the cold they have been kept here perfectly preserved for centuries you take a rolled up sheet of leather off the shelf and inspect it this is a full of incomprehensible runic writing accompanied by strange abstract drawings you look at more of the scrolls all similar for the sages of haven this place could be an irreplaceable treasure trove they could spend countless years here decoding the secrets of a lost civilization. Alas for you, it is not useful at the moment. When you are close to this magical circle, a trap is activated. This magical, ancient and simple. You hear the mournful clang of the entry gate slamming shut behind you. Okay. The stillness of the library is broken. You hear someone nearby, a man most likely shuddering and whispering to himself. Ezekiel. There's a man of the row hiding in uh, this corner of the ruin. He is skinny and shivering. He's probably been trapped in here for quite a while. Still, when he sees you, he rises and tries to act uh, as uh, much more confident and brave than he is. What a pleasure! I hadn't dared hoped for a visitor to my chilly little home. I am Ezekiel, an explorer and treasure hunter by trade. I'm Prince Cordon of Haven. I'm explorer with extremely poor luck. Nilsicek sent me to find you. That improves his morale. Really? You met my friend? And he actually enlisted you? He quietly notes the regal insignia on your shoulder. But he doesn't com comment on it. I apologize. He didn't mean to get you locked in a frozen crypt, I'm sure. Yes, we are trapped. But perhaps not for long. There's a locked door to the west which offers hope of escape. I'm able to pick the lock, but I didn't want to proceed alone. Uh, and rather freeze to death. With a mighty warrior like you, there is hope. What are you doing here? Nothing noble. I was exploring a ruin in the Lodaga with my business partner. While scurrying through the tunnels, looking in vain for valuable artifacts, I found a scroll describing this library. I couldn't resist this temptation, alas. Tell me about your business partner. He is Nilsicek, the profferer, finest trader in the Rukai. I loot, he, I loot the finest old junk, and he makes the best possible deals for it. A legendary partnership. Where were you exploring before this? A smoky unpleasant ruin in the Lodaga, northeast corner. Hard to find, mostly picked over. I was eager to leave. Perhaps uh, leave it. I should have prepared better, though. Why did you come here? Greed. The Rukka is full of ruins, but most of them have been heavily picked over. This is a fresh source of rare artifacts. Might be able to get rich here, if I live. Is there much wealth to be found here? He thinks about it. Actually, no. The treasure is scrolls. Unreadable scrolls. Maybe valuable to scholars, but I only want that which can be sold for ready money. A pretty foolish expedition, all considered. What did you find here? Scrolls, scrolls and scrolls. Not magical, just... I don't even know what they are about. There were also traps, as you saw. I know why this place has been unlooted for so long. I have another question. Uh, what are the library's traps? You already saw the gate that closed us in. It slams shut whenever I try to return to my camp. The only escape is ahead. And there are also the, the deadly shades that wander. Try not to be too frightened by them eerie noises that go out, uh, go on in there. The real problem is the big sentinel. 
Where do the shades wander? They walk the halls of the library, then they hunt outside, then they return. Hopefully, when you approach the library, you evaded them. When they detect intruders, they flit home to protect the scrolls. The useless, worthless scrolls. Who is... So we maybe we added additional enemies. Who is the big sentinel? You probably saw it when you entered. The big rocky fellow at the entrance. It walks around from time to time. That thing can walk? Amazing, isn't it? The magic that animated it still remains. Fortunately, it is slow, dumb and uh, a slow, dumb beast. Easy to avoid. You suspect that something isn't unsaid here. Is going unsaid here. I have another question. I'm... I just stay here for now. I'm ready to escape. Then follow me. I will unlock the door to the west. And we can tr thread our way through the ruin. There must be an escape route somewhere. His morale is quite high. He seems strangely unworried. Let's go. At last, he jumps to his feet and walks out of the room. For a moment, you think he's, he fingers something in his pocket. Then he's gone. He calls you. Follow. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, we will be with you shortly. We will just explore the rest real quick. Mm, there is no rest, okay. But it's good to know. Ezekiel pulls his hand out of his pockets. One of them brings forth a few lockpicks. Now I'll get this door open and we can run to safety. Alright. He nods. Well, we'll die if we don't get out soon. Be ready to run. He gets to work. Watch. With two long pieces of bent wire, he makes short work of the lock. There is a satisfying click. It's unlocked. A long moment of silence as you prepare to open the door. And then a raw, strange, inhuman, hellish keening coming from the south. Then heavy footsteps. Something is walking. Uh, though it is far away, the massive impacts of its feet make the floor vibrate. What was that? Oh, that. The sentinel by the entrance. I thought it would leave us alone. Apparently it's hunting. We should probably run. It seems quite strong. You don't seem worried. I'm terrified, of course. I have royalty here with me. Uh, an experienced hunter. I'm sure you can help me to safety. Haven looks after its results, after all. What do we do now? I'm not sure. What do you mean, you're unsure? As I said, you don't, I don't know what is past this door. I'm truly hoping for a way to escape. The booming footsteps slowly grow closer. I think we should just run. Let's go. I'll keep you safe. Open the door and we shall escape. What a tale we will have to tell Nilsi check if we are not ground to pulp. Alright, let's go then. Uh, 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 uh. That didn't do anything. First trade patrol. Oh, and there is possibly the big golem already. Um, vulnerable. Huh? It might not be able to go through the door, I'm not sure. We will find out soon enough. It doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so we are good here. I mean, we can just try and find it. 
2000 doesn't seem to be that strong. And if it can't go out of... Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe this is strong. But let's try something. Maybe we can just irritate it enough. Let's evade. 70%. Okay, that's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Well, I didn't do much. And I should also equip this item I just found before. It's super slow. Yeah, it's not the most exciting fight. Ah, you have managed to heavily damage the Sentinel. Unfortunately, it's Kratos prepared for this. It freezes solid, the runes start to glow on its skin. As the wounds you inflicted begin to knit together, it's dispiriting to watch your work be undone, but at least the horror will leave you alone for a bit. Whatever powerful enchantment the ancients place on this beast, you won't be able to overcome them with brute force. Oh, okay. So just healed again. Okay, I'm going then. I'm leaving. Bone guard. Okay. There seem to be mages in these groups, so let's kill the mages first. Too far away. Oh, interesting sound. Vulnerable. Ouch. Nah, we will need to heal very soon. Like now. I'm also not sure where this guy ran to. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they do quite a bit of damage, but all fine. Um, yeah. Okay, let's move on. There he is. We try to talk to Ezekiel, but he shakes his head. There are lots of barriers ahead. I'll hide here. You should find a way to open them. Your gentle suggestion that perhaps he should help fights are not accepted. I'm a scavenger, not a warrior. I'm very good at hiding, though. Mm -hmm. Turn the wheel. And now this is open. When you touch the door, it gives you a nasty shock. Something is still powering the magical defenses of this library. And there are also enemies. The easy ones though. As long as they just get to me one by one, they don't do too much. <sighs> Next. Okay. All done. We can... Oh. There he is again. Mm. to kill the stone brood or he will just kill it okay let's ignore it then no it's going to kill the skeleton no <gasps> Okay, that's annoying then. So maybe we should hurry, just move forward, no matter what. Their damage is negli negli negligible. 
not high. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, try it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Out of combat, safe and forward. This hall is a magical workshop. The tools are strange. The runes on the walls and floor are weird and alien. Yet the purpose of the hall is clear. Most of the flasks and tools are long broken. There is a magic circle in the middle of the floor. Only one mechanism is still intact. There is a pedestal in the far corner. A stone twi switch protrudes from the top. Mm -hmm. And there is another puzzle. Or s maybe it's just something to read. Okay, they seem to be easy. But who knows what spells they will cast if they do that. Oh, well, that's not super impressive. Mm. Angry roar in the distance, the sentinel is hunting you. Mm -hmm. Okay, out of combat, using that thing. You flip a few of the stone switches, most of them do nothing, then something happens. There is a loud hum, the air fills with energy, your hair stands to an end. Then, with a loud zapping noise and flash out of blinding light, a bolt of energy arcs into the middle of the circle to the west. Nothing else happens. Uh -huh. When you touch the door, it gives you a nasty shock. Something is still powering the magic defense of the library. You try to talk the... Okay. Um, when you touch the door, it gives you a nasty shock. Something is still powering the magic defenses in the library. And... Maybe this door is now open? No. I mean, it might be possible that we need to kill him one more, one more time. It must not have recharged yet. Maybe we need to kill this big thing over here. Mm. 
Hello. Ah, no. Yeah, but just getting him into the room without dying will be a problem, I guess. It's not also not doing anything at the moment. <coughs> ah, okay. Run pot. No, oh, uh, I didn't want to click on that actually. Let's wait one more time. Huh. Not attacking? Hello. Yeah, now I mean, maybe. Mm. Yeah, this is not working. Well, we will not get it any better. Ah, yeah. Uh, the stone sentinel... Uh, you flip the new, a few of the stone switches. Most of them do nothing. Then something happens. There is a loud hum. The air fills with energy. Your hair stands on end. Then, with a loud zapping noise and a flash of blinding light, a bolt of energy arcs into the middle of the circle to the west. The stone sentinel shudders and lets out another of his hideous screeches. Its stone shell grow soft and flexible. Though it immediately begins to harden again. Uh huh. Does that just mean that we, in this case, we can kill it, but uh, we still have to um, to 
to completely like damage it to down to nothing you know what? because that would be a problem maybe we should split up so that not everyone is just toast once he casts like a fireball or something Like that. Bleed resist twenty percent. Mm -hmm. All right, here. We need to heal again. Here. Okay. Not have recharged yet. I just hope that it doesn't do a fireball every turn now. It doesn't do anything this turn, okay. Leading three. Also, the evasion is down to nothing. Previously, it was 70%. Now it's 10. Let's use this. I think it's doing a bit more damage. Mm. Still the wrong weapon. Okay. Harmless. Take a potion. Five bleeds. Okay, that's fine. Can we use that thing again? Nope. <laughs> okay. At last, your blow disrupts the magic holding the stone sentinel together. Its irritatingly hard skin grows soft, then it cracks, then disgusting goo comes out. First as an ooze and then as a gusher. Then the whole construct falls apart. It's actually a great shame. Haven Sages could have studied the thing and tried to learn how to reproduce it. Unf uh, unfortunately, no, fortunately, once the rebellion is crushed, you can send a team up here to look at the scrolls. This side trip might not be a gigantic waste of time after all. Mm -hmm. At the last, the way to the exit is clear. Ezekiel reaches into his pocket. Then he gets a disappointed look on his face. He pulls out a handful of sand. What was that sand? A charm! I found it here! It kept me safe from the sentinels as long as I held it. Must have been made by the librarians. You didn't tell me about it. Of course not! You can defend yourself! I'm just a scrawny angry looter! Uh, do you know anything about the rebellion being planned outside? There is a rebellion? I need you to come with me. Where will you go now? I will... I need you to come with me. Kind of far, uh, but I must uh, head downward with all speeds. Uh, Nitsichek will be very worried about me. Where will you go now? Back, downward to the Lodaga. I have many stories to tell Nitsichek. Also, we need to find a better place to loot. I should get a reward for rescuing you. Of course, go back to the Lodaga and talk to Nitsichek. We are rogues, but we are also proper rogues. We pay our way. 
Now, excuse me, I need to get some food at my camp and I need to get somewhere warm. I've had enough cold for my entire life. Thank you for your help, Prince. Goodbye. He slips through the door and is gone. Okay. Now we can enter and get us all the loot. Lillian's Claw Bloodletting. It's a passive. Okay. Yeah, we need to make space. So this was, there was something, yeah, here, charm. When it's in your pack, the row endorse, man will resist. I need to check who needs more man will resist. And this is probably just junk. Yeah, it is. Okay, um, who needs some more man will resist? 90%, 90, 90. Okay, he needs. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, something blocking. Maybe if we go into that room first. Maybe there's another puzzle. Yes, there is. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look to be very hard if we just make one line here, basically, and then connect this. Mm, okay. Clarity Brew, Relevant Law, Scroll of Calling, Mercy. Okay, these are not really that valuable and we also have no space for them so okay that's fine mm -hmm. and that's all yeah that's all We still haven't found this guy for the um, the Harvester quest, Worm's Teeth. I expected to find him when we went down and into this uh, passage here. Okay. They have some. Oh no, there's some skeletons. Okay. We probably just avoid them. This is the normal path. So, yeah, let's just go up there and explore the rest. This is a pilgrimage group, I guess. There is a band of robe warriors traveling on this road. Even though they are bundled up, they are still shivering. There. Okay. I think that's the same we had before. Okay, so we saw everything here. Dum, dum, dum. These seem to be enemies. You continue to laboriously climb the glacier that fills this valley. You get colder. The crevices grow more frequent. The few hours of vacation you got back at Port Osborne Hunting and feasting are a distant, taunting memory. Port Osborne? What? The valley... Ah, that was the underground thing, I think. Uh, the valley curves around to the north. Ahead, through the mist and snow, you think you can make out lights. A line of torches in the far distance, leading the way to the summit to Prover Krug. Mm -hmm.
you see another rune ahead, a crumbling massive tower built by forgotten people centuries ago. Maybe Ro, maybe those who were here pre before. Why would they build such a monument this far up? Was the mountain a warmer then? Anyway, your musing doesn't last long. The dragon knocks all such thoughts from your mind. It is an enormous beast, light blue scales gleaming in the faint sun, circling over the tower. The many humans traveling up here have attracted its attention, though it declines to hunt the roe. It circles it off several times, then it lands on the top of the tower and disappears from view. Huh. Uh, Solora's Jaws. Alright. Is that just a dialogue, or...? Is that a dungeon? You warily enter the ruins of the tower. The dragon is in here somewhere. Not on this floor, though. The corridors are narrow and the ceilings are low. You listen carefully. You hear sc uh, scribes and hisses in the darkness. There are tracks in the snow at your feet, left by a wide variety of creatures. The dragon keeps servants down here to fetch food and tend to its needs. Okay, so we need to kill a lot of stuff, I guess. Bony sentinel. Yes. Okay. Alright, so we will continue exploring that next time then, and then we will go to Prova Krug and probably complete the story. We still need to find this guy for the Harvester, and we also need to hand in another quest. We still have 13 days time, that should be plenty for this little bit here now. So yeah, next time... So Laura's Jaws and let's see how long that takes and then we will maybe already go to Prova Crook. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing what happens uh, there and how the whole story ends. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.